wonderful rainfall to compare the rainfall data indian meteorological department calculated the long period average lpo of rainfall during the period june to august for each of the 16 states the figure given below shows the actual rainfall during june to august 2019 and the percentage deviations from lpa of respective states in 2018 each state along with its actual rainfall is presented in the figure so the 10 year thing is the lpa and 2019 data is what is the actual deviation with lpa is also measured are we going better or worse than long period average and so it's a wonderful chart i want to spend some time on it we have put states here and so we have maharashtra gujarat karnataka rajasthan sikkim mizoram all of these states sitting there the actual rainfall for each state is mentioned in numerical term in millimeters the june july august period what is also given is deviation from lpa so what this tells us if you look at this data uh, rajasthan which had 300 millimeters of rainfall it got 15% more than its lpa arunachal which has got 1000 mm rainfall has got 10% less than lpa meghalaya at 1750 has got 15% less than lpa right? maharashtra which uh, with a rainfall of 1000 has got 30% more than lpa 1000 mm so what do we have here we've got actual rainfall we've got deviation vis a vis lpa which means we can find lpa don't sit and calculate all the lpas for all these uh, states not required it may not be required so we've got the hang of this data and so we get actual rainfall we get the 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 amount which is uh, deviation vis-a-vis -vis lpa that's all we need well that's it we just straight away jumping onto questions if if a heavy monsoon state is defined as a state with actual rainfall from june to august of 900 millimeters or more then approximately what percentage of heavy monsoon states have a negative deviation from respective LPS? Oh, brilliant. So 900 millimeters is here. A negative deviation from respective LPS. We need to count what percentage have this. First of all, Maharashtra is a heavy monsoon state. So is Sikkim. So is Mizoram. Arunachal, Kerala, Meghalaya. Goa. All of these are heavy monsoon states. So there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of these seven, approximately what percentage have negative deviation? These three have negative deviation, which is Arunachal, Kerala, and Meghalaya. Three out of seven as a percentage. One out of seven is fourteen point two eight. Three out of seven is forty two point eight four. This comes closest. Right? Very simple question. Once you just have to look at the data, scan the data, and then we are through. If a low monsoon state is defined as a state with actual rainfall from June to August of 2750 millimeters or lesser, then what is the median deviation from LPA of low monsoon state? 750 or lesser. these ones we want a median deviation so i'm going to write this down in order and so so the highest deviation is gujarat then is karnataka then it's rajasthan then it's mp then it's assam assam slips into negative territory then west bengal jharkhand delhi Manipur. I'm just going from top to bottom. Gujarat has the maximum deviation at 25%. Karnataka comes next at 20%. Manipur has the minimum or the lowest or minus 60%. Okay. What is the median deviation? Median is the middle term. Middle, we have already arranged this in descending order, mind you. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 states. Median is the middle term or the fifth state, Assam. Assam has the median deviation. Assam's deviation is minus 10%. This is the answer we are looking for. 
last time we had seven states as high monsoon nine as low monsoon so between 750 and 1000 750 and 900 there's nothing only 16 states totally considered nine of them have 750 millimeters or below seven have 900 millimeters or above of these nine the middle state is assam which has a deviation of minus 10 percent what is the average rainfall of all states that have actual rainfall of 600 millimeters or less in 2019 and have a negative deviation from LP? So we're looking, we can forget about this. Looking at negative deviation, 600 millimeters or less. So, so Assam will get counted 600. West Bengal will get counted 600. Jharkhand will get counted, counted 400. Delhi will get counted 300, Manipur will get counted 400, only these five will get counted, the ones on top won't get counted. So the average is sum of all these by 5, 400, 300, 400, 7, 11, 11 plus 6, 17 plus 6, 23, so it's 2300, 2300 divided by 5, which is 460 millimeters. Very simple, isolate whatever the states are based on the conditions given and then plonk it in, find the average way through. The LPA of a state for a year is defined as the average rainfall in the preceding 10 years. Yeah, this was defined. For example, LPA in 2018 is average rainfall from 2009 to 2018. LPA in 2019 is the average rainfall during 2010 to 2019. It is also observed that the actual rainfall in Gujarat in 2019 is 20% more than the rainfall in 2009. The LPA of Gujarat in 2019 is closest to. Brilliant. Fine. So there is some link that is actual that is given in 2019. We can find LPA of 2009 to 18 from here. That will give LPA in 2018. That's what this question describes. You go back to the starting point. It says the the deviations from LPA of respective states in 2018. So the de deviation is vis-a-vis -vis LPA till 2018. You're calculating this year's based on long-term average. That cannot include this year. So 10 years up to 2018, that will provide the LPA framework for 2019. So that we can find. But the question is asking us for LPA of Gujarat in 2019. Brilliant. So let's let's think about actual in 2019 and LPA in 2009 to 18. Actual in 2019 is 600 millimeters that we know. So 2019 is 600 millimeters. Now this is 25 percent more than LPA. And so 25 percent is one fourth. So five fourth of LPA is 600. This is LPA till 2018. So LPA till 2018 is 600 into 4 by 5, which is 480. Brilliant. So 480 is the ex is the is the LPA till 2018, the 10 years to 2018. It is also observed that the actual rainfall in 2019 is 20% more than the rainfall in 2009. Interesting. 2019 the rainfall is 600 so actual 2019 is 600 with this we can find actual 2009 how do we find that 2019 is 20% more than this or 1.2 x is 600 2009 rainfall is 500 millimeters brilliant the LPA of Gujarat in 2019 is closest to this is very interesting and so think about this LPA of 2018 to LPA of 2019 LPA of 2018 is average for 10 years 2019 is also average for 10 years but if you think about this the difference between these two is from 2009 is included in LPA 2018 that is removed and 2019 data is added. Okay, so I'm going to reimagine this. I'm going to write this down. So 2009, 2010, 2011, all the way till 2017, 2018, 2019. 
average of all of this is LPA 2018. Average of all of this is LPA 2019. LPA 2018 is 480. 2019 rainfall is 600 millimeters. 2009 rainfall is 500 millimeters. Now the average change how is it going to change because you're taking out 2009 data and adding in 2019 data instead of having 500 millimeters in the mix you're adding you're having 600 millimeters in the mix so you're adding 100 millimeters to the total but lpa is average average over 10 years so the total goes up by 100 millimeters average will go up by 10 millimeters lpa till 2018 is 480 LP in 2019 should be 419. The 10-year average to 2018 is 480. The 10-year average 2019 should be more than just by 10 millimeters. Why? Because the total is more by 100. Why? Because 2009 is 500 millimeters, 2019 is 600 millimeters. If you go from one grouping to another, you're kicking out 2009, bringing in 2019, or your total is up 100 millimeters. Total is up 100. Our average is up 10 because you're talking about 10 units. So 480 millimeters would have become 490 millimeters. Right. Wonderful, guys. Wonderful. Okay.